Carlos tonight. Um, what do you think was the reason for Carlos turnovers? I mean, some some of them are just bad passes. Some of them are just turnovers or whatever it is. So, I mean, 19 is a really, but that's what we do. Like I always say, I mean, I think we are really good in turning the ball over. So, that's probably normal for us. Malone also said you guys were ball watching a lot. I think they had 19 second chance points. Yes, did it? that too. Are you guys also good at ball watching? Seems like, uh, seems like um, we didn't, uh, we didn't do collectively. Me first, we didn't do a good, good job of, of rebounding the defense, rebounding but the ball. Um, we need to do much better, much better job uh, with that. Just boxing out. Just boxing now, that's that's gonna help us a lot. I mean, usually we are we are, we are really good uh, rebounding team, but in the last couple of games, uh, we just don't do it probably. You seem, uh, I don't know if upset's the word, but on your final possession, you wanted everybody back down towards the baseline. It didn't seem like the guys were moving. Um, what do you remember about the last possession in, in regulation? I mean, just because. Um, Usually that's that's Jamal or that's uh, that was Monte. So just like two man game, uh, just to keep it simple, uh, I popped and uh, I saw someone coming, someone coming um, on the, on the pass. Uh, I took a, I took a, like a defensive dribble just to get away, and then I saw like two seconds in, on, on the clock, or two or, or three seconds on the clock. So I, I saw a little, a little late, but I just didn't want to pass it. So we, I just wanted to take a shot off. So that's why I just I just took a shot off. Do you think the turnovers are easy to fix? Or? No, because we are doing this for 60, 71 game. It's interesting you said that usually Jamal, or, or, and then you also said Monty too, but um, taking like a step back and just like thinking about the year in general, like, what has that been like for you to go through this season without Jamal and for a lot of it? I mean, to be honest, I, I was, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Just, uh, I'm used to it. Um, I don't even think about it. So, um, to be honest, uh, I think to continue to see in the future, I just think he's not gonna come back. That's that's the easiest. If he come back, it's gonna be great, you know. So, but I think it's easier. The best thing to to think about he's not coming back. So, just to figure it out, what we need to do as a, a group that we have right now. Nicole, you said it's been a year-long problem in turnovers. Why do you, I mean, do you guys just think you just, like, just relax? Like, do you think you guys just, everyone expects you to just carry it? And, and so that, you know. I don't, I don't know. Like, to be honest, it's, uh, most of them is actually my turnovers. I think I average like three, four, five tur turnovers a game. But 19 is a big number. So it's a pretty much everybody, a pretty much everybody. So uh, I don't know what's the problem, to be honest. You know, so like uh, my last pass was a bad, bad pass. I throw it really, really bad. I wanted to do something, and then I, I messed up. I made a mistake. Um, but usually, usually we just seems like it's a little bit of everything. We don't know the plays. We bad pass this and that. Uh, playing a, uh, you, when, you, uh, when the guys playing in a crowd, uh, just sometimes we uh, the simple pass for us is not the easiest pass. So we are. We cannot make that uh, sometimes. Uh, so I think it's a little bit of everything. To be honest, like I, I'm, I'm good. Like we say, I think uh, people or media or whoever. I think I think we are not supposed to be here uh, where we are right now, uh, personally, especially without the injuries and without everything. And then, and then. Uh, we had a really good run in, in this last month. We were, I don't know, we won 13, 15, how many oh, oh, in the last month. So that we think we had a really good run. And we were playing really good, uh, really good. but I think nobody expected us to be here. We were supposed to be like lucky or not lucky, happy where we're at right now. But, but you're not like, you're not satisfied at all, are you guys? I mean, you can be satisfied, of course. I mean, you always want to be. Like today, we had a chance to win a game. We didn't. Uh, so, especially for us, every game needs to needs to be like a big game. Needs to be. Uh, we need to win it. So, Mike, to ask you what you thought of Mobley tonight. Oh, he was good. He was good. Uh, 
he's he's playing really good in that pocket. Um, he's attacking the offensive glass. He's athletic. He's a big guy. You know, I think he's this is still his first year, so he's gonna learn. Oh, this guy's here. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy's gonna uh, come and help here. So um, I think that's gonna help him a lot. Just one year to know, like different matchups, different different teams, different uh, coverages. So th that's gonna help him. That that's gonna help him a lot, of course. But he has a talent. Uh, he has a talent to be really good in this league, and uh, as long as he develop and, and and try to try to be better every day, uh, I think he can be a really good good play, player and great player in this league. And among the many things that you do well, one of them is is the way you move with your back to the basket or near the basket. Do you do you see that that he seems to move well for for such a young guy as far as like in that specific spot in the post? Mm. I think he's using his uh, length really good. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he's not really that I can say strong because he's like still in process of getting the NBA body, whatever is the name. But like whenever he bumps, he's using uh, spacing. He's he's using his his uh, his athletic uh, athleticism and his his uh, long body and long arms. So you know, it's uh, I, I I to be honest, I, I really want to see how he's going to be in the future. I think uh, he can be a really good player. Uh, Nikola, još jednom sjajna igra. <laughs> 32 poena, 10 skokova, 8 asistencija, opet samo dva asistencije, da bude triple-double, vjerovatno je malo frustrirajuće. 14 poena ste vodili u čevjeg čevjetini, uh, posle produžetak i bilo je vrlo blizu pobjede, ali jedna od onih ne je za, za izmakla izgleda. A baš tako, ovaj, imali smo utakmicu, bili smo u utakmicu, da kažem, uh, oni su uskočili su nam uh, dosta puta u napadu, kad, kad smo morali da uzamo uh, odrbrani skok, uh, uh, dali su neke bitne trojke i sa trojkama su, da kažem, uh, vratili, to, uh, vratili taj neki uh, rezultat. Amerikana je dala tu bitnu trojku za, 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 za vojstvo posle skoka Garlanda, tako da um, mi smo nekako imali odličan šut za produžetak, ali eto, no, promašili smo, tako da eto, šta da radimo, tako je kako je. Thank you, Nikola. Thanks, thank you. Um, what did it feel like to play with that, you know, that closing unit? Uh, I felt good to be out there with them. Um, just certain plays and stuff like that that we was running, I felt that we executed. Some of them good, and some of them was a little off. But I felt I felt good being out there with the with the first unit, though. Nicola just said, um, you know, turnovers are what we do. We turn the ball over the entire year. You even said sometimes you guys don't even know the plays. Is that is that the culprit? What do you what do you attribute the nineteen turnovers? I mean, yeah, we I mean we do turn the ball over, but um, uh, I don't think some of them are intentional. But you know, we definitely can cut down on you know some turnovers because some of them are just you know careless ones. But I don't think any everyone is intentional. Uh, we're not just trying to get a ball away, but I mean, it happens. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, like understanding, like when to get off the ball, understanding when to drive and when to, you know, if the defense collapse, when to kick it and stuff like that. So just just more intention detail, like you said. How bad do you want that last one? Oh, bad, bad. Uh, that shot's I, I didn't hit all my life. Um, you know, but it didn't fall. It's all good. Get that shot many more times. Shoot it the same way. Going to cut what's going to go in. The, uh, the road trip. I mean, you come in, you win two in a row. I think you won seven straight road games. Does it just bite or just, just sting a little bit? To, I mean, 14 point lead in the fourth quarter. Man, yes. Uh, like, uh, like you said, attention to detail. K Love had hit about four threes uh, just off of. Picking pops, you know, we was in down 34 when he's when he's uh, picking and popping. Like, he's just getting wide open threes, you know, we're supposed to rotate. But, uh, you know, like you said, just attention to detail and being locked in on a game plan. You know, I feel like we wasn't down the stretch. We, we miss a shot, come back on defense and relax, and then he'd, he'd be wide open and hit a three. But yeah, not just that, not just the, you know, lapse in three-point coverage, but also the defensive rebound. Yeah. It just didn't seem to hit a body. That as well. Um, I had one on. Uh, I didn't think Karis LeVray had got one, and then uh, Mobley got the dunk. But you know, it was just pointless. I mean, uh, countless uh, 
offensive rebound that they had, and they one calls for a dagger three, and um, that pretty much summed the game up. Were, were you impressed with, I think Mobley had uh, nine, seven or nine in overtime of his 27. Yeah. You, you're impressed. I mean, he's a rookie too. Mm -hmm. Impressions of that dude. Oh, uh, yeah, good good player for sure. Uh, Very versatile, can play outside, inside, good feel, good touch. Uh, he's definitely a good player. Uh, I wonder how you balance this with the fact that you guys played really well on the road all season long. You would know, say you know, the franchise record for road wins. Um, yeah. I mean, it, like, we don't want to just dwell, like, you know, just learn from this. This is not something that's going to break us, you know. Definitely learn from this. Uh, this is something we really got to, you know, watch film on, though, because this is one of the games where we just literally just gave it to them, like, we gave the game to them like it was candy. We just gave them the game. So, something we got to learn, learn, because uh, we were definitely up, like uh, Mike said, 14, fourth. We could have put them away, but, you know, it happens. Uh, we got to bounce back, you know, watch film, and, you know, get ready for, I think it's Boston. All right. Go ahead, Esteban on the Zoom. Hi, Bones, from Cordoba, Argentina. I hope you're well. Uh, do you feel that foul troubles uh, from Aaron Gordon benefit uh, Cleveland to come back? Um, mm, no, because uh, we got multiple defenders, but um, they call a lot of calls on him. I think was you know calls that shouldn't have been called, but it happens. Um, AG, the great defender. Uh, this is the first time I think he got fouled out, I think. But, um, you know, he's a great defender. But I don't think it caused, you know, numerous or problems. But, you know, because we have good defenders and, you know, coach put good defenders in the game to guard, you know, some of the uh, best players on the other teams. So, you know, I don't think it definitely uh, it was a problem.